Hello everyone and welcome to the Star Wars Vault. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to see new Star Wars videos every week. Hey, how's it going guys? Happy Father's Day. I hope you all had a great day. I think it's only fitting that today's video for the channel was actually an idea given to me by my father, who was also a huge Star Wars fan and was looking to see what you guys think about this topic from Episode 8. So as we know now from Episode 9, we learn that Snoke was actually a puppet of Emperor Palpatine the entire time. He tells Kylo on Exegol that he made Snoke, as we then see back to tanks filled with several heads that look just like Snoke. Now of course we know from the sequels that Snoke was the one who was able to turn Ben Solo away from his uncle, Luke Skywalker, and thus leading to Luke's new Jedi Order crashing and burning. By the time that all the events are occurring in the throne room in The Last Jedi, we know that the Resistance is on its last fleet. Snoke demonstrates his power in the Force by dragging Rey across the room as he taunts her and eventually instructs Kylo Ren to strike down Rey. The big question is why does he want this to happen? Or better yet, why does Palpatine want to kill her in this moment? If you remember from The Rise of Skywalker, for about the first half of the film, Palpatine makes it known to Kylo that he wants him to kill her. However, near the end of the film, he reveals that he wants Rey to take the throne and to strike him down so his spirit can pass on into her and his power would live on. So is there any chance that Palpatine told Kylo to kill Rey because he knew that Kylo wouldn't do it just like he didn't kill her in The Last Jedi? Is it possible that with how well things were going for the First Order during The Last Jedi that Palpatine felt Snoke's reign had run its course maybe? I mean we've seen this with him doing this with Maul, Dooku, and others before, where he uses figures to fulfill his agenda to make his ends meet. My father thinks that maybe Sidious thought the First Order was in a good position, and he could sense Kylo's feelings of betrayal, so he allowed him to kill Snoke and thus take over as Supreme Leader. Now with Kylo in charge, he is a younger force who acts quickly on his emotions and may be unstable at times possibly setting up Sidious for his plan as we see in episode 9. I thought this was a really interesting topic to bring to the table since I haven't really seen anyone else online talk about this specific idea, so shout out and thank you to my dad for bringing this into discussion. But now I'm interested to see what you all think about this. Do you think Palpatine had an entire plan behind this apparent situation where Snoke wanted Kylo Ren to kill Rey? Do you think he actually wanted Rey dead even though he knows that she is his granddaughter? Whatever you think about this topic, please make sure to share your opinions with everyone in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button as it really helps the channel. My social media links can be reached down in the description. That's it for today. Thank you so much for checking out my video everyone. So until next time, may the force be with you.